So welcome to this week's President's News and we're going to kick off with a quick update and you can see the progress being made towards getting the cafe and bar areas completed. In fact, as I stand here, I can smell the coffee beans. And you can see it's not fully kitted out yet, but the mach coffee machine is there. And then for some people, perhaps more interestingly, we go down and we see that the bar, the beer taps have been installed. That's, um, there's not going to be two Moretti's on at the end of the day. We'll certainly have a selection there. So all to look forward to, only hopefully now a couple of weeks away. So uh, you've seen just a quick glimpse. You can see the bar and cafeteria area coming along nicely. I suspect it's going to be probably the last week in January when we can open up uh, the bar for Wednesday evenings, but we'll obviously keep you posted on that. So turning towards this week's news, uh, first of all, uh, congratulations to Johnny Ellerton, who has broken the under 17 10K road walk with a time of 57 minutes 40. Well done, Johnny. Um, going back onto the country then, so the Kent League, Kent Cross Country League has reached the stage where we now know that in the younger age groups, we are on both the boys and the girls side, we have, uh, we have won. Um, we were best overall club. Um, we had team wins in the under 13 uh, girls, the under 20 women, the under 13 boys and the under 15 B categories. And specifically in terms of individual success, Hannah Clark was first in the under 20 ladies. James Shaw was first in the under 13 boys. Joe Sugden first in the under 20 men and Paul Ross Davis has won the over 70 men's trophy. Now the last senior men's and ladies race takes place um, in February, I think it is, and it's actually at Norman Park. So that's something to put in your, put in your diaries. Um, this last weekend uh, down at Brands Hatch on a very breezy and somewhat damp day, we had the Kent Cross Country Championships and again, it was another good, we had another good performance overall from the club. We had a lot of athletes out. We had two team wins. The under-17 women and the under-13 girls uh, won the team prizes. We had second places in the under-20 men, the under-17 men, the under-15 boys and the under-13 boys. And on the ladies' side, we had a second place in the under-13 uh, ladies. In terms of county champions, Morgan Squibb won the county championship in the under-20s. Megan Barlow in the under-15 girls and Aofi McDonough in the under-13 girls. And other good performances notable, worth, worth noting, uh, young Joe Skeynes was second in the under-15 boys, Daniel Horgan was third in the under-13s, uh, Hannah Clark, not far behind her club member Morgan, was third in the under-20 ladies and Karis Firth was third in the under-17 ladies. Um, the senior men finished fourth and the senior women finished third. So we're definitely improving our strength at the senior level in cross country, even if we're not quite there yet. I have to say big thank you to all the team managers uh, for getting the uh, teams out. Thank you particularly to Paul and, um, and Claire Ostridge for going down there and keeping them all in order, putting the tents up and, uh, and everything else. It's, it's quite an effort and it is very, very much appreciated. So that was the uh, Kent Cross Country League. In terms of um, uh, the Kent Championships, rather, in terms of forthcoming events, um, looking ahead. So this weekend is the Knoll Run down at uh, down at from Seven Oaks School, uh, and that's a schools run. The week after that, we've got the South of England uh, Indoor Championships at. No, I beg your pardon. That's that's this weekend. We've got the South of England Indoor Championships at Lee Valley for the under thirteen, under fifteen, and under seventeen age groups. Uh, on the 21st, we've got the Kent Schools Cross Country Championship, that's over at Dartford. And that same weekend, we've got the London Indoor Games at Lee Valley for the under 20 and senior groups. And the week after that, on the 28th, we've got a continuation of the games for the younger age groups, the under 13s, 15s and under 17s. And then at the end of the month, last weekend of the month, we've got the South of England Cross Country Championships, and that's the Beckenham Place Park. Good, a good venue, close by, and there's good vantage points for spectators, so that's good. Um, now, one of the other things I, I just wanted to mention is an initiative which has been started in the club to try and attract in and accommodate more para-athletes. And so um, we, we had a, a trial programme back in October where we invited along a number of students from local special school. We had five of our own coaches. We had a, a specialist coach from British Athletics and we had a para-athlete 
and um, had a session where people could familiarise themselves with the, the challenges and specific issues that need to be addressed when you're dealing with athletes with, with disabilities. And based on that, we have started running sessions, which will run from December through to March. Um, at the start of the session, the, dis the athletes with the disabilities are coached. Jay Galley is the lead coach on this. They have a coaching warm-up session. They are joined um, a little bit later then by some of our regular athletes, that's so as not to overwhelm them too much at the beginning. And, uh, and they start uh, training and working together. And so far, it's proving to be very successful, good bond building between the two groups. And hopefully, it'll end up with us providing a, uh, opportunities for some of the para-athletes they don't currently have, and an ability to integrate them into some of the club events moving forward. So we hope this is a programme that we'll be able to carry on, subject to uh, funding, uh, right, right through the year. Uh, final thing to mention is uh, events of the weekend, of course, a park run. Uh, a lot of runners were, um, were not running because they were in the Kent Cross Country Championships. But we did have 43 runners out in 19 different locations. A couple of first places. Luciana Smith was first at Dartford. Robert Perry first at uh, Tamar Trails Park Run, which I imagine must be down near Plymouth. Uh, Roger Villadell was fifth at Bromley. And Paul Sharp was seventh at uh, Beckenham Place Park. And in the top 10, Cameron Swatton at North Allerton. So well done to all of those. Um, Burns Night, 3rd of February at Old Bex. Uh, I think it's £25 a head, 7 o'clock. Uh, look on Facebook for details on how to get your tickets. Um, and then the final thing I want to mention this week is one of our members, Angela Powell, in March is going out to Malawi as a volunteer dental uh, nurse assistant. And uh, she's looking for sponsorship and she's doing uh, the uh, Hampton Court Half Marathon. So if you'd like to sponsor her, if you go on to Just Giving and search for Angela Powell, um, Hampton Court Half Marathon, you can, uh, you can make a donation. Very worthy cause. So that's it for this week's news. Next week, I hope we'll have uh, a more definite date on the opening of the cafeteria and bar here. In the meantime, we are still looking or, uh, for a barista for the, to complete the staff on the cafe. So if you know of anybody who might be interested in that during the daytime hours, uh, please, please let me know. Thank you very much.